Hi, I'm Dr. Skolka, and I'm here to discuss complex repetitive discharges. So complex repetitive discharges, or CRDs, are spontaneous discharges recorded on needle electromyography. They represent the action potentials of groups of individual time-locked muscle fibers that fire repetitively with a regular firing rate, and they're considered to be generated at the muscle fiber rather than the nerve. EMG characteristics include a regular firing pattern. They typically begin and end abruptly. They have a wide firing frequency range between less than one to 150 hertz. And the number of spikes in the firing group can vary between two to more than 50 spikes. So here's an example of a CRD um, from spontaneous activity from a left pronator teres muscle. And I'll play it one more time. Uh, here's another example, it's spontaneous activity from a right triceps brachii muscle. And I'll play it again. So the clinical characteristics, uh, they have uncertain significance. They're thought to represent chronic neurogenic or myopathic conditions, and they can rarely be found incidentally in muscles such as iliopsoas or biceps brachii, with no other abnormalities in the motor unit potential seen. Some associated disorders, to name a few, neuropathic conditions could include radiculopathies or polyneuropathies or motor neuron disease. Myopathic conditions include inflammatory disorders, infiltrative disorders such as sarcoidosis or dystrophinopathies. Myopathic conditions are thought to be more common when CRDs uh, than neuropathic conditions. And here's a reference uh, for this information. And if you're interested in re reading or learning more about these discharges, thank you for your time.